Florida had to revoke nearly 300 concealed carry permits after discovering that hundreds of thousands went out despite incomplete background checks. A state employee was failing to note certain red flags on applications because she couldn't log in to the national background check system. The failure to complete the background checks lasted 13 months from February 2016 to March of 2017. During that time, the state processed about 350,000 applications for concealed carry permits. When they finally went back through, 365 applicants were flagged and in 291 of those cases, the state revoked the permit. The problem was only caught when other staffers realized it had been months since any of them had seen an appeal from someone being turned down because no one was being denied. Agriculture and Consumer Services Commissioner Adam Putnam held a news conference Saturday to clear up some of the facts and to stress things have been fixed. But the revelation comes at a bad time for Putnam with all the debate over gun rights and school safety is a key issue in the governor's race. This is a, this is a serious issue, make no mistake about it. But it has been misleadingly reported that 350,000 people did not have background checks. That could not be more wrong. We have complete, completed the investigation and implemented the additional safeguards to make sure that this does not occur again. That negligent employee quoted saying, I dropped the ball. Adam Putnam already under fire after a tweet describing himself as an NRA sellout is now explaining how his office botched a year's worth of background checks. The news could impact the race for governor. Will it be an issue in the campaign? Of course. And would he prefer that it have never surfaced? Absolutely. But he didn't run away from it. And it's very telling that even in southeast Florida, in one of the today's papers, there was talk about among Democrats, some of whom said he should drop out immediately and others said not so fast. So I think it will be up to Republican voters in the short term as to whether he gets the nomination. Floridians' safety is my highest priority. Adam Putman says applicants face three checks when applying for a concealed carry permit. The first two checks are state and federal crime records based on fingerprints, and the name search check through NICS is to check non-criminal records that may show disqualifying factors. The former employee admitted to investigators that she dropped the ball after running into a login problem with the, that database. Putnam says there are now safeguards to make sure the daily work gets done.